Well, it's Friday again, and uh, the end of another uh, crazy week. It, I hope that you have had a, uh, a blessed week. Uh, blessed as I have. Um, had some thoughts for you. Uh, as many of you know, I, I had a little run-in with my bull last, uh, last Thursday, and it has kind of uh, stopped me in my tracks as I've got some uh, knee injuries that I'm trying to recover from. The good news is the doctor says that uh, within two or three months, I should make a full recovery. Uh, it's just having the patience uh, to wait and, and work through all the difficulties between now and then. But as I have been trying to work through this and uh, kind of reflect on things, uh, I realized uh, I've always known I've been blessed, that God has blessed me in countless ways, but uh, reflecting back on, on what happened last Thursday, I realized even more how, how blessed I am. And, and I know that may sound funny that uh, having been thrown by my bull up in the air and messed up my knee, that, that I could count that as a blessing, but there's many ways that it, it has been the fact that the bull doesn't have horns was a huge blessing because we'd be looking at a whole different story uh, had he had horns and the fact that he didn't hit me hard enough to do significant damage is another blessing and then at the doctor's appointment he told me that I was even more blessed because if he had broke my femur at the point of impact, uh, it would have been over a year process of recovery and probably at least one or two surgeries to repair it because it would have been right at the, at the basically the end of the knee where it would have broke. So I, I count myself fortunate. And as I've been reflecting on it, I, I reflected back, I don't know why God brought me to this story in the book of Second Kings. Uh, and I think it's very fitting. So I'm just going to read it, and uh, and then we'll talk about that. So this is the story about the, the widow's oil. It says, the, the wife of a man from the, company, uh, from the company of the prophet cried out to Elijah, The servant, my husband, is dead, and you know that he reserved, revered the Lord. But... Now his creditor is coming to take my two sons as his slave. Elijah replied to, the, to her, How can I help you? Tell me, what do you have in your house? Your servant has nothing at all, she said, except a little oil. Elisha said, Go around and ask all your neighbors for empty jars. Don't ask for just a few. Then... Go inside your house and shut your door behind you and your sons. Pour, the, pour oil into all the jars as, they, as each is filled. Put it aside. Then she left and afterward shut her door behind her and her two sons. They brought the jars to her and she kept pouring. When the jars were full, she said to her son, Bring me another. But he replied, there is not a jar left. Then the oil stopped flowing. She went and told the man of God, and he said, go and sell the oil and pay your debts, and your sons can live on what is left. And I got to thinking about that. There's so many times that we, we go to God and we ask for things that we think we need or maybe even the things that we desire. But it made me realize that sometimes the greatest blessings that God gives us is through the things that he has already given us. This widow only had a little bit of oil in her house, but through that little bit that God had given her, God filled multiple jars with oil that she could sell and then live on after paying her debts. So sometimes our richest blessings are in the very things we have. And sometimes we get a little not content with 
the things that we have and then we start desiring more or better but is that really the things that we need and God says I've given you these things be content in fact I do believe that there is a, a commandment about that very thing and not not coveting other people's things and, and relationships being content with what God has given us and through those things that he gives us he blesses us so may you be content and search for the things that God has given you and realize that those are blessings even when there's difficulties God still blesses us in those things may you have a wonderful weekend